If you are looking for Ultimate Team Coins, I have the place for you. Head on over to EasyMuttCoin.com where you can purchase coins for as little as $45 a mil. I did not stutter. Link is in the description. Use code GS for 5% off. What up, my ladies and gentlemen and pets of all ladies? You boys just welcome back to another Madden 21 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. And today, we... Are gonna go ahead and bring in the debut of not one but two golden tickets. This is the offense, this is the defense. Now we have to purchase Montez Sweat for a total of 626,000 coins. Well, 626, right? 600, 600, 000. Yeah, I think I said it right. And also DK Metcalf, who we actually got lucky enough and pulled uh during the uh video where we go ahead and said amazing walk off unbelievable so we pulled him we purchased montez sweat now i'm gonna be trying montez sweat on the edge alongside jadavion Clowney. montez sweat is active with el toro and jadavion Clowney is active with el toro and also deflator now i want to try him out on the edge because i'm thinking about going with roberson over Montez Sweat because Roberson is able to get the Flater for two, and I could have Clowney and Roberson both with El Toro and the Flater. I mean, if they get their hands on anybody, they're going to go on ahead and make them very fatigued, and uh, that could be glitchy. And then that would allow me to put Freeney and Montez Sweat at D tackle. And you want to talk about the vicious speed that we would have on the D line, it would be incredible. But still, um, you know, this is what DK Metcalf is looking like before we get into the gameplay. 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 pursuit, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 hit power. It does help out that we have a full 50 Seahawks steam team. And then we're going to go on ahead and take a look at Montez Sweat over here. And I'm definitely excited to see what he has to offer. A 97 speed, 96 excel. 90 strength, 90 tackle, 94 play rec, 97 block shed, 99 power move, and finesse move. I went with Brawler over Sprinter. You know, give him a little bit more strength. So 97 speed, 96 excel. Hopefully he and Clowney can go crazy. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get right into the gameplay. I'll see you guys out on the field. Let go. <coughs> What? <laughs> what the hell? It just dashboarded me. <laughs> First time that's happened this year. I'm shook. I'm messing around and get a loss now. The hell? That's that's odd.
Hopefully we didn't get a loss for that because that would suck. We did get the loss for that. Ah, that's unfortunate. Why can I ever load into a game and just get a free one like that, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, well, fresh new season. Let's get it. Extreme Gaming Elliot. Me and Elliot got gifted a nice free W. All right, so we match up against K Peace. That's the good guys right there. Tyler Lockett, Chris Cooley, and Eddie George. All right, so my man Key must have just started not too long ago. Very unfortunate, too. He was in our playoffs. And as soon as I loaded into a game, I just dashboarded. Got sent right back to the beginning. And I went back in, and we lost. We got the loss for it. So it's unfortunate. But, you know, fresh new season. Let's go. Kind of get to see Montez Sweat, you know, against not top tier competition. You know, nice little warm up. You know, see what see what they got. This is gonna take some time. We want Metcalf over here. We want Sean Springs over here. And we want Derwin James. I kind of want to switch that, but we don't have enough time. Looking to throw on first down. Whoo! My man Cam was almost there. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Okay, my man went empty. I hopped straight on the D-line. Straight, straight on the D-line like a weenie. I'm not messing up the match coverage. I don't care if he got 85. I don't know what the hell it is I'm doing in match coverage. Don't you come out of five wide against me, Ricky Bobby. When I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's Sean Springs, baby. Let's go. Big picks. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Last time we had the Guagua active. This time we do not. We went back with our QB playmaker. See, uh, see if we can go on ahead and throw some hot ones. And just like that. David Carr just ropes it. I don't know what it is about this gold ticket David Carr, but my man, maybe because he's naturally a strong arm, even though he's got 19 different slots. But this bad boy Carr just got a rope. And he just... I mean, them passes. I mean, a little, little fire beyond that. Hot, hot, hot. I mean, it got some lasers. I seen some activity from uh, the D line. I seen them lighting up all types of brightness, but of course I gotta make sure I'm covering something out there in defense. So I couldn't really see what was going on, but I like to think we were getting some sheds up front though. They're set and ready for this next drive. The Washington offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first. Who? I don't get the 
there. Oh, that was that was a good play. I almost messed that all up. I was out of position. Okay, we'll take that though. I was almost there, almost not there. All right, let's go. That incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the twenty-five. Toss a Ruski. Toss a Ruski. Let's go. What a way to get there, Metcalf. I see you with your first tackle. Just a three-yard gain there. He was brought down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. I mean, he's got to be asking that. He's jumping formation so quick. Oh, screen. 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 Let's go. Metcalf, go. Test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please. Give this gentleman a link to my channel. Let him know. Do not throw the ball my way. Let's go. No so you. Give it to me, baby. And don't stop till you get enough. Let's go, man. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody find someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Makes the score. Seahawks 14. Washington nothing. That right there is one of the rare times I've picked off screens less than five times this year. They're, they're tough to pick off because you hold wide. They just kind of jump up like they're about to rebound the basketball. It, it's rough. And we actually came away with the big pick, man. And it was my boy Metcalf. Oh, that's going on the thumbnail, too. You best believe. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And oh, and my boy's hot. My boy Metcalf is hot. Okay, sweat. That's what I like to see. Baby, get involved in the run game. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Finally was able to get my freaking guys uh, active, my three X factors. I removed everybody from the end. I mean, from oh, good play. I removed everybody from the D-line. Well, the entire defense. I removed everybody because I got that glitch when I tried to activate my third X factor. It was like, nope. You already exceeded the limit. So I literally removed everybody, put everybody back in, and now we have three active players, baby. Because when you give him different looks and give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that... Oh, my Lord, did I fall for that heavy. Oh, no! They didn't give me that! I fell for the play action hardcore. But let me get that, man. I was all over that. Oh, yeah, that's another Yickums. Trey Flowers is just so good. He is so good. I promise you, this Trey Flowers right here is an absolute menace. Nobody this year has been more dominant, and I've had almost everybody. Then this Trey, or maybe Charles Woodson when he first came out because he was a goon. But this Trey Flowers is a manimal. I promise you that. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time the formula was. Yeah, I know what time it is. Time to bring out the guagua. Time to bring out the guagua. Pick up that block. And he can go Oh, the whoop. Way. The guagua, baby. The wheels on the bus will go round and round. Let's go. Now, listen, you may be like, yo, GS, you just picking on this young man. Come on now. Clearly, he just started the other day. It's eat or be eaten in this world, man. You know, you know how many times I faced God squads when I started the no money spent squadron? It was rough out there. It was rough. I was on his, I was on the opposite side. I was there facing 97s when I had 86s. But it's E or B and like my like my man Jack says. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21 nothing. Makes the score Seahawks 21. Washington, nothing. Sebastian I don't know how long my guy is gonna stay in the game, but we're on we're on pace to put up quite a bit of points. Washington will take over first. Alright, come on, man. No sacks, clowny, sweat. Give me something, fellas. Give me something. Out 
there set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense and some dangerous territory You're already down three scores what's he moving for oh snap oh oh whoa 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 calma take it calma papa calm down that's a good play I went outside he cut it up it's a good play you know thinking you're gonna get all these points back on one drive you're not and last time I looked it's still the first half I'm not saying you have ultimate patience not again right no way he does it again. Oh, he hit me with the fake Aruski. I went for lock it and now, okay. He clearly just handed the controller off to somebody because these these play calls are, what, what is going on? I don't like what I'm seeing. He needs to calm down. Calm all the way down. I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Come on, fellas. Where's our run defense at? or mid zone whatever you want to add mid zone KO they're so hell they're so 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 hell let's go ahead and clip that now we can take a look I mean just look man smothered smothered so good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50 yard line and having QB playmaker and hot route masters just oh my lord where have you been all my life just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw and in this case that's exactly what he did I mean that's just too easy I mean sheesh not sure what happened there but his guys was all conflustered just all holding on to each other and that was just Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. My boy Carr, three out of six for that Omaha. And that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels. Okay, so our pass coverage, as expected, match coverage is pretty good it's doing phenomenal where's the pass rush though like i need to see some type of pass rush for you sweat i need to see some type of pass rush from you clowny let me see something the washington offense at the line and ready to roll they've got to be absolutely reeling right now couldn't have expected to be down this big oh man this boy cam is just an animal i love having him in the three wreck having him in the middle he's just everywhere just karate chopping passes Okay, look at Cam again. In the deflator. That's why I got him with the deflator right there at the middle. That actually might be the move instead of Roberson. Just keep him with the deflator. There you go. Now your Eddie George is a little yellow. He a little yellow, baby. He a little tired. Look at it. That's why he takes us so on to select the play. He's got to get Eddie George out of there, bro. He's tired. Third and seven. He ran it. Get the stop. Is he gonna go for it on fourth down? I don't trust him. I don't trust him as far as I could throw him. Oh, it's a fake! Vigorowski! This boy this man Cam is really 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 trying to go in the head and leave his mark on this video because DK Metcalf was all over that. He was absolutely all over that. I clicked on DK. I was there, and he ends up, uh, you know, <laughs> he ends up stealing the pick, man. It's messed up. All right. So I didn't really see much from... Um, I didn't really see, at least I don't think so, from Sweat or Clowney. And Clowney usually gives me really, really, really great production. So I'm a little taken aback that we didn't get anything from Sweat. But this is the play 
where I think, uh, Mon I mean, um, Camp Chancellor just went ham. Right, let's take a look at the D-line. Okay, so Clowney got an insta shit. Clowney lit up. Montez Sweat did not. But I think Montez Sweat was still, like, right here. I like to think that's a shed right there. Maybe he still gets picked up right there. Not really sure, but I would like to think he was about to bypass the blocker right there. Um, Freeney, if you take a look at Freeney right there, he's one-on-one -on -one with 64. He's to Montez's Sweat's right. Well, right side of the screen right there. And he shedded right there pretty quickly. You know, he, and also, okay, and um, Julius Randle shedded as well at the same time. You take a look, Randle right there was shedding the double team right there. You see, he got that animation where he shedded the double team. So, that right there was a very good pass rush. You know, Clowney activated right away. And, and again, when you're a quarterback, when you're standing in a pocket, I don't know about you guys, but whenever you see something like that light up, there should be some type of mental clock going off in your cerebellum. Letting you know, hey, you probably don't have that much time before a very large grown man comes in viciously, forces you down. So it's probably why he went ahead and got rid of the ball pretty quickly. Um, the drag does look open, though. You take a look at the slot, the left slot, the drag is there. But, you know, they're waiting in the three wreck is none other than Cam Chancellor. And you see mid KO, mid zone KO. Lit up on three guys right there in the vicinity. We have Cam who lit up. We have the guy guarding the drag who lit up. And who is that? Who's guarding the drag in the slot? That's, um... Is that Jamal Adams? That's either Derwin James or, or Jamal Adams. And then over the top of him, and you also see on the left too, Sherman lit up as well. Um, and then above him, DK Metcalf. Uh, ended up lighting up and cam just look at the play like mid zone ko is so good it's so phenomenally good and that's why i rock seven of them absolutely i rock seven of them in my defense i go on ahead and i put mid zone ko on each and every single eligible zone guy that i have out there in the quarters defense now i wish like i don't really need it on my user i would prefer not to have it on my user but i'm always going to play weak side safety and I never know which is going to be the weak side. So I don't know if I need to be on the free safety or strong safety. So just to be safe, I go on ahead and I have it on both guys that way. Like in this scenario, I, like, I would like to use their DK Metcalf every game. Right, top, left. But in this in this case, you know, the weak side free safety or the weak side safety, not free safety, the weak side safety, even though that is um, or the strong safety. The weak side safety is the strong safety, which is, uh, Sean, um, Sean Spring. So I get on him. So if I had Metcalf unactive because I would prepare for him to be my user, then right here when I'm not using him, he wouldn't be active. So just to be on the safe side, we have mid zone on him and everybody, including two El Toros. And the defense has, since I've been running it, it's been pretty good. Like it's been pretty good. And even though this right here may seem just like a regular play, <laughs> by uh cam because he doesn't move but the match is like really 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 good like you take a look right at everything all the routes he has right he puts out four routes well five he has a looks like this is just you know three um was it slants or drag okay so he has a slant in the slot and he has two drags on the outside and he has a, a flat with uh cooley so you take a look at cooley right cooley 47 that flat right there, right in front of uh, Jamal Adams. You see Jamal Adams, that flat is smothered, right? You take a look at the drag from the right to left. That drag is that you can't... He actually gets in front of the drag. Look at the right side. Look at what Trey Flowers does. Trey Flowers gets in front of the drag, making it impossible to throw it. Look at the right side. Right there, you see Trey Flowers is in front of the drag, making it impossible to throw. On the left side, I don't know if Sherman actually gets in front of that drag. But, yeah, he's kind of in front of him. And then on the slot, he had a slant, which uh, Derwin James is a little behind. But I think he would have made a play. With uh, mid-zone KO, let's say Cam is not there. You see uh, Derwin is lighting up there. And he looked like he's going for that swat animation where he reaches around and kind of slaps the ball loose. 
So I'm positive this would have been an incomplete pass. So I like I'm weird. I will sit here and look at plays like this over and over and over again, man. I love to see the type of things what I could have done differently. You know what worked very 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 well. You know I want to know that my guys are doing a good job. And if I need to change something, if I need to, you know, keep guys in certain spots. And this is the very first time I've ever had in that three red Cam Chancellor. And I could already now, yes, his team wasn't the best, but I'm already in love, right? Him with the flater up there, he's going to be an absolute monster in the run game. He's got super high. Um, I was going to say run block. I don't know what his run block is. It's probably super high. He has super high block shed, a tr tremendous speed, pursuit play wreck so he's actually going to be an absolute monster there in the middle again with the flader so anytime he tackles somebody he's going to go on ahead and make them tired if you guys don't know the flader if you hit stick them they will instantly go red but if you don't click on and hit stick or the cpu doesn't hit stick and you go on ahead and you get a conservative tackle they become yellow they're tired you know they're not all the way fatigued but they're still a little tired so that's why Clowney has it. You know, if he gets a sack or even if the quarterback throws the ball away and Clowney gets to the quarterback, he's going to make the quarterback fatigued. Or if it's a handoff and Clowney or Cam are able to get to the guy, they're going to make them a little fatigued. And that can change an entire drive. You know, it, let's say on a crucial second down, you dump off to the running back and Cam lays the wood and let's say he picks up a few yards. Now it's third and five and now you got to take your running back out because he's tired. You can't risk having him in the game, and that that could be huge. So, again, last time we're going to go on ahead and fully go through it, take a look at everything that went down here. This is just phenomenal defense everywhere across the board. From midfield now, everything is just absolutely smothered. Cam Chancellor with one beast of a game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. We did get... An interception with Metcalf, which I absolutely, positively loved. And it was on a screen, too. And that right there is not easy to do. I don't know about you guys, but picking up screens for me are not easy. I end up holding wine. I just jump straight in the air like a buffoon. And I end up coming away with just air. And then they throw the screen anyways, and it comes off as a completion. And I get angered because, like, I was right there. But, um, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it a few more gameplays. To see what Montez Sweat has to offer on the edge. Now, him active with El Toro, he's going to do a good job. Right? Anybody active should do a pretty good job more often than not. Even though we left the game away with zero sacks, we still lit up a lot. And we still got some, some sheds. And he was just able to, you know, just get the ball off quicker than we were able to get to him. But we're forcing quick throws and, you know, that even though that doesn't show up in the stat sheet, still could mean you dominated the game. But if I don't see, like, some pure, absolute dominance from Sweat, like, okay, there's just no way I can get rid of him, then I think I'm going to go Roberson and Clowney on the edge, both of those guys with El Toro, and um, or maybe just one guy. One, like, really fast. doesn't have to be Roberson because I think I'm going to keep the flater on cam. Just somebody really, really, really fast that I can have El Toro for two on the edge. And then um, I might put Montez and Freeney at D-tackle. And that would just be ferocious. Freeney has 98 speed. Montez Sweat has 97. Clowney has 97. So if we get any sheds, we should just absolutely create so much havoc back there chasing down the, uh, the quarterback. And if I need to ever put up a spy... Montez Sweat at, what is he, 6'5"? Montez Sweat's huge. Let me see. And his catching must be pretty high because he's actually able to, 6'6". Six six, he's actually able to get tip drill. And I think you need over 70 catching to get tip drill. So, 6'6", um, six 5'. Six, Might be an absolute menace there. Just creating a lot of havoc with a spy. And if you take off, I'm able to push in that right thumbstick and now you got 97 speed cutting off your angle that you're trying to get to, and you shouldn't get too far. Anyways, man, it's your boy Jess. We're going to go ahead and sign you. I appreciate the love and support. As always, the DK Metcalf and Montez Sweat debut. And uh, unfortunately, we did take a loss because we dashboarded right before the first game that we played. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and be signing out, man. Until next time, peace!